Yes. Hey, you know, every winter, monarch butterflies migrate in their millions to 12 mountaintops in Mexico. I'm talking about our state insect, and they're not beach bound, but rather headed far from the ocean or Mexico City to the transvolcanic mountains of central Mexico. Insect populations worldwide are going extinct at eight times the rate of mammals and birds, and this ancient migration, too, is threatened. For many hundreds of years, locals of Angangueo, Mexico, have believed the monarch butterfly is the soul of their departed ancestors, and they arrive every year around the Day of the Dead to visit. Regardless of what you believe, it's hard not to be in awe of these winter sanctuaries in the mountains. Fir trees shelter hundreds of millions of monarch butterflies. When the sun is shining, you see millions or thousands flying around you. And when it is uh, a little bit uh, cloudy like today, you see that they are attached to the trees. So why do the monarchs come all the way to Mexico? Well, it's all about microclimates and they're a tropical butterfly. They can't freeze, but they need to stay cool enough to preserve their energy until they can mate again and move again in February and March. Those microclimates, that perfect condition is found here in these mountains where it doesn't get too cold, doesn't get too warm, and they're protected by these trees. These monarchs, the migratory generation came from thousands of miles from places like Canada and Minnesota. They pull off quite the feat. The lifespan of a non-migratory monarch is going to be from four to six weeks, while the lifespan of the migratory generation is going to last till up to eight to nine months. That fascinates both tourists and biologists like Patricia Valdespino, but just how do they pull this off? They haven't produced the hormone that makes them sexually mature, and that hormone is temperature dependent. Okay. And that is their secret for longevity. Well, that temperature is getting warmer now in those Mexican mountains, so the monarchs will start to mate, and the females will make one more journey still. They came all the way from here to Mexico. They make one more journey to Texas and Louisiana to lay their eggs, and that is where they will die. Uh, in our next half hour, guys, we are talking about the population numbers. It's, it's been going down critically low in recent years, and uh, to the point where scientists are worried that the migration might end. So we're talking about wow. what the numbers are doing this year, and um, also conservation efforts across three countries to help save this migration. Well traveled, amazing uh, the journeys they uh, go. Thousands of miles, yeah. and then those females have to go back north a little bit still. And wow. to find the same spot every single time, it's, yeah. it's yeah. fascinating. Yeah, and, it, it, no, and it's a mystery. We don't know how they migrate. We don't know what they're tracking. Is it gravitational fields? Is it the sun? You know, birds, you kind of have a theory, but an insect, it's something.